Well, the first time I heard about Brexit was actually from my friend, who allegedly won a hundred British pounds from betting on the result. Then he encouraged me to bet my life saving on Hillary. But that's a story for another time. Shenzhen College of International Education is an A-level school, meaning that the majority of our students will go to British universities, some of them US. In this section, we will explore how Brexit will affect the decisions of Chinese students. Uh, previously, I wanted to go to US, but after the Brexit, the tuition got much cheaper, so I now want to study in UK. Let's hear the first-hand view of the school counselor on the Brexit impact on the Chinese student. My comment would be that it's not the negative thing that many people in China think it is. A lot of people think that Brexit is caused by British people voting that they don't want immigrants, they don't want as many people from outside the country, that their services are overloaded. But I think it will actually benefit many students from other countries because Right now, Britain is going to want to keep up the level of their universities. They want to show that they can attract top world talent. And after Brexit, they're going to want to show that they can still get top academic students. And China is full of academic students. So I think trying to promote the image of Britain as being British and not part of Europe, they will still want to attract students. I don't think it'll make any difference. China and the UK agreed to embrace a, quote, golden era of relations back in 2015. That's when Chinese President Xi Jinping visited London. Now in Beijing, he and British Prime Minister Theresa May, known endearingly in China as Anti May, are putting that commitment into motion. British officials are keen to ensure that they maintain a golden relationship with China, especially after Trump criticized that May's Brexit blueprint will kill a US-UK trade deal. Here to comment is our beloved econ teacher. Right, post-Brexit, I'm assuming you mean that UK companies will be ring-fenced, it'll be harder to conduct trade uh, between the UK and Europe, so I guess that would liberalise trade between the UK and China if China chose to take advantage of that and make trade a bit easier, right? Like reduce the, the trade barriers like tariffs or subsidies or anything else. If the UK can separate effectively and have a renewed legislative ability to trade freely with the rest of the world that was perhaps more liberal now than it was before because of centrally controlled law, then it's more likely that you'll see an increase in trade between the UK and China. In a nutshell, if the UK is stable and incomes go up, if the sentiment of the economy is strong, there'll be more trade. the first Western country to recognize the new China, and one of the first European countries to establish comprehensive strategic partnership with China. The meeting came in the Joint Happiness Garden, with China's top leader, Deng Xiaoping. Having seen the top leader, the Queen then saw China's top tourist attraction, the Great Wall. We can see this from the fact that UK is now China's biggest investment destination and the biggest IMB offshore trading hub. Also, um, my wife is Japanese. My wife is Chinese. <laughs> <laughs>